All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Photoshop workspace so it's best suited for painting. All right, so you see the list in front of you. These are the palettes or windows that we're going to be needing in order to paint in Photoshop. All right, the first one I'm going to see is a navigator. So to bring up the palettes, aka windows, just click on the windows at top and the ones that are that have check marks on the side it means they're already visible on the front. So go ahead and click Navigator, okay, and it appears right here. The Navigator is useful because it shows you where you are in the painting, and it's really helpful, especially if you're zoomed in and you kind of get lost track, you lose track of where you are. So you can either zoom in and out using the slider at the bottom of the, the window, or you can also type in the number here to the left. Okay, so now I want to move the Navigator to the top right of the screen. So to move palettes, you can click on the tab with the name on it and drag it around. Okay, release to let go. All right, I want the navigator to be on the top right of my screen. So I'm gonna click and drag and take it over to the top right until you see a blue line appear in the palette below. So then I let go. Now the navigator palette's on the top right. Okay. I also came with a histogram, which I don't need, so I'm going to click on the top right and say close. All right, so navigator, next up is channels. So go again, go up through the windows, select channels. All right, it's right here. The channels palette shows you the breakdown of the colors. So this is uh, used in painting, so I'm going to put it right under navigator. So again, click and drag put it over the existing palettes until you see a blue line, let go. Okay, now the channels is right below navigator. Okay, next up is paths. Again, window, paths. Okay, paths. Where'd it go? Try again. Okay, here it is. So drag out. So I want the pan channels and the paths to be nested in the same box. So to do this, I click and drag the path into the box. And you see now, instead of having a line above, now you see the blue line surrounds the entire box. Now let go. Now channels and paths are in the same box. Okay, uh, keep going. So next one I like to have is the layers palette, which is down here. And as you know, uh, to layer the colors and effects, you want the layers palette to be pretty big. So now I'm going to pull out the other ones out of the way. Okay, so color, I'm gonna click and drag. Swatches, click and drag. Adjustment, click and drag. And styles, click and drag. Okay, now I'm gonna put the layers right underneath channels and pads. Okay, just, uh, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to drag the, the edge and make the layers Color because we all know that there's gonna be lots of layers. All right, so this is the first column. Okay, so now let's go to the second column. Second column is usually uh, shrunk, so just click on the top right to expand it out. Okay, and same thing with the first column. If this is getting into your way, just click to collapse. Okay, so now I'm going to Take away the styles because we don't need this for painting. But we also we need adjustments, so I'm going to put that here on the second column. Okay, colors and swatches they're kind of similar, so I'm going to put them in the same box, and then I'm going to attach that here. Let's get brushes. Okay, the brushes are here, so I'm going to it's already here. All right and actions and history which I think this one is history so it's already preset but in case it's not just go ahead and click on history here okay same thing with actions okay here it is it's the play sign all right okay so this is how you move the panels around and adjust uh, move around the panel <laughs> for painting 